Hey everybody, welcome to uh, welcome to my show. <laughs> Whatever this is, uh, tips in the kitchen with Jill. I'm actually making a really healthy quinoa salad today. I may have done this before, but I'm updating it because it's been a couple of years since I've done it. So I'm going to start out with fresh quinoa, which I have actually, well it's not really fresh, fresh but it's like been frozen fresh. Um, I make a whole batch of this and I freeze it in one cup containers like this and then I use about a half a cup per serving um, and then use it the following day you know in the fridge or you can refreeze it whatever you like to do but it's really easy and good to do it that way. I like to salt that part and I just got back from France and got this fabulous um, which is all backwards but it's fleur de sel it's a finishing salt which is a little light pink kind of like Peruvian salt and um, looks like that and it's so yummy it's not like that iodized salt that we have and I've been using it for everything and it's really really better for you than iodine type salt and so I just take like a little pinch of it and I put it in the quinoa like this so it just adds a little nice little flavor and then some fresh ground pepper and I get that seasoned well and mix that up just a little bit so now you got seasoned quinoa in there. The rest of what we're doing um, is going to be a mixture of really nice, fresh, beautiful veggies, which you've got your um, snap peas, which are really sweet right now. Uh, Trader Joe's has um, great, great buys on them. You can buy them organic or not there. Uh, you can also get them at Costco. Really good, really snappy, really, really fresh. Red onion, if you can try and find a sweet red onion, those are the best. A little bit of avocado. I do about a fourth of an avocado. If you're on Weight Watchers, it's about one point for that. If it's a small avocado. And then fresh tomatoes. Oh my gosh. I get, um, I like to go to the farmer's market and get the really good ones. But when they don't have the really small, tiny, sweet, round ones, those are just the best. Um, Trader Joe's has really good plum tomatoes. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with opening up the package, checking around, make sure no one's watching, and trying one. Because you know what? If it's good, then you'll buy the packet. If it's not good, you save yourself about four bucks. So try it out first. I always do that for sure. And then I've got fresh corn on the cob, which is about a half a cob. So I put it in the microwave with all the um, stuff on it so I don't shuck it, keep it all on, and then put it in the microwave for about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Come out, let it just kind of steam for a little bit, and then I remove the shucking off of it and um, put it in a container and put it in the fridge and you have it enough for two days for salads, which is really, really yummy. Then I've got some orange bell pepper and some red bell pepper. And those are my ingredients. Um, what I'm also going to add to it is some roasted pine nuts, which I buy a bulk of it at Costco, and they're like $14 for a pound and a half of pine nuts, which is really um, a lot. And then I just roast them as I need them. Um, and also feta cheese, which yummy, from Trader Joe's, or you can get them over at Whole Foods, anywhere. And then we're going to do the dressing. It's going to be olive oil, about two to three teaspoons, or... Um, two good healthy tablespoons. I'll show you how I measure. Um, just get it all coated and then also fresh lemon juice. So that's our salad. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't know if you can see all this. I guess you can. Add in all this fabulous ingredients together on top of the quinoa. And maybe I kind of made a pretty big salad I did but anyway that's okay it's, it's just all like veggies so you know how fattening can that be and it'll give you a good filling and fill you up so I'll mix it up just a little bit and you may add a little bit more salt with it because with the tomatoes and the avocado it needs a little tiny bit of salt so I might add that at the end but in terms of olive oil um, okay I'd say one two tablespoons. Kind of close, I think. And it's, just make sure it's all kind of shiny and coated, and that's really all you need. You don't need to overdo it, put too much in. Just enough 
that it's nice and shiny and coated and that, that looks pretty good. And then I've already pre-cut some lemons, so I'm just going to squeeze the lemons and I made sure that I've got all the seeds out too because it's no fun getting the seeds out of your salad after you've already squeezed it because they're little slimy, slippery little things to get out there. So I've got one quarter there. Here's a second quarter. makes about a half. See, i got a slimy seed that just went in there. So you know what? I'll end up eating it and it'll just crunch a little harder than the rest of the salad. <laughs> so getting in that. And, and I, I try to get every little last bit of juice out of these. Oops, see there's another little seed. This one had a whole bunch in it. Um, just get every little bit you can. And once you've done this and got, ooh, this has got a lot of juice. This is a good one. Um, mix it up a little more. Oh yeah, this is good. And you know, add more lemon juice if you want, if you need a little more flavor to it. Sometimes just, it depends on the lemon you got. Sometimes it's just not as uh, juicy as others. So just add enough to taste and make sure you like how it tastes. And um, add a little more finishing salt to it. You know, not too much, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. But man, this is this is great stuff. And I'll tell you what, I found it for like three euros in France. And if you go like to Sur La Table, they sell for 15 bucks for a little thing like this. I wish I was able to bring more back. And so then we're going to take some feta cheese, crumble it up on top. And again, this is just kind of a nice texture. It's got so many yummy ingredients in it. I'm, I'm not kidding you. I lick the bowl at the end, <laughs> even though it's so big. It's just so yummy, and it's just got so many good tasting things, especially right now with, with how great things are in the produce section. And uh, I've been gone most of the summer, so I am just really loving, loving this. Um, and then finish it off with some pine nuts. And I'd say about two tablespoons of pine nuts. This is more protein. And then mix it all up, and you are ready to go. And seriously, I could eat this whole thing by myself, but you can also divide it up for two people. Um, if you don't feel like being a Miss Piggy like me. So, there you go. Here's our salad. It's fabulous. And enjoy. Bye. And I won't be back for a little while, so nice to spend some time with you again.